This is all my packing for the Cape Wrath Ultra, a 250 mile race for eight days across the Scottish Highlands, starting from Fort William and ending up at Cape Wrath. So some of it I'm going to be wearing, the pack in the far right hand corner, that weighs almost three kilograms, which I think is quite good. Then the rest of the clothing that I'm not going to be wearing comes to 13.5 kilograms roughly. The bag itself, the aqua pack one at the bottom middle of the screen, that weighs about a kilogram. So in total, packed so far, I'm looking at 14.5 kilograms. And then, so that leaves me about five kilograms to play with with food. Win. So let's start with the shoes. So I'm wearing the trail talons there, the Innovate trail talons, as I ran 100 miles in these in training and I did not get a blister, so that's why I'm wearing them. Um, the Salomon Speed Cross 4s, they're waterproof, so I'm wearing them around the campsite. And then the Brooks Adrenaline GTS, um, they are my road running shoes and they are the only shoes that I know for sure don't give me my plantar fasciitis injury so I'm taking them just in case and if all else fails I'm going to get them on. Um, the flip flops are for if we want to go in the water or washing in the river after and there's a couple of pairs of nice comfy socks, the hilly mono skin and some stance walking socks there which I really really like. Then I have got, this is what I'm going to be wearing to register, so I've got my Wild Ginger Films t-shirt and just a pair of jeans there, Wild Ginger Films hat, some fashion sunglasses, pants, bra, maybe a hocker cap if it's sunny, and my Berghouse down jacket. Um, for camp also, we were told maybe if your waterproof is wet you'll want another one, so that's my Montaigne one there, and another pair of waterproof trousers from Go Light just there. Then I've got some pyjamas, so I've got a, uh, a just an, a vest top there, and then I've got some BAM uh, leggings, full length leggings, and I can also wear them if it's really cold on the trail as well. So on the first day, I've just packed out my first day of clothing. I'm going to maybe wear the Patagonia Duckbill Trucker Cap. Oh, that's my midge net as well for um, the camp. Uh, bra, uh, Patagonia pants, these are really, really nice. They've got like seamless design and they dry really quickly. So um, I've got a few pair of those. Um, my Ron Hill uh, three quarter length leggings, nice and colourful. Some sealskin socks, I've been training in them and non waterproof shoes, so uh, I hope that'll go well. My gloves from Peru, so that I can use my um, iPhone and camera uh, and GoPro on the way. It's got little holes in the fingers and a flippy over bit there that's actually really, really warm. Um, my run a thousand miles rough, obviously. I'm not sure whether I'm going to wear a t-shirt or a long sleeve. This is the Innovate ATC um, base layer. So I might wear that or I might wear the North Face t-shirt. Not sure yet. Either one of them for my first day. Then I've got a spare water bottle. Um, a cup with some gaffer tape around it because if you need some gaffer tape you don't want to take the whole roll with you there's about four lengths of gaffer tape on there I've got a spoon and fork in one I really like that I might put a knife in there as well and then I've got a bowl this is a bowl from Kyrgyzstan when I went mountaineering there and uh, accidentally forgot to give that one back so uh, there we go a bowl from Kyrgyzstan and then we've got a first aid kit which is very comprehensive I've got loads of stuff in here I think I've got enough for the entire Cape Wrath Ultra crew um, I do like my little tins as well so there's plasters in here we've got compede and regular plasters in there as well I've got loads of dressings I've got loads of pills scissors tape all the mandatory kits some electrolytes in there some more tape and uh um, wipes and ibuprofen, paracetamol, probably enough for everybody there but you never know how it much is going to hurt. So that's my first aid kit there. Then we've got wash bag that's quite full because it's got my K-tape in it and it's got mozzie repellent and it's got um, a toothbrush, toothpaste, uh, some shampoo and conditioner probably just for the end really rather than on the way. I've got a good luck card for my lovely friend Emma which is really really nice. Lucky pants cannot fail and neither with you so I have to make sure I'm wearing my lucky pants every day. 
Then, uh, going on to the lucky pants, actually, here they all are. So, lucky pants, five of them. I've treated myself to, I'm going to be wearing a total of six pairs of pants for the eight days. So, I think that's pretty good. I'm going to wash and dry. Hopefully, two pairs will wash and dry. Then, I've got a vest, a smart wool vest, and an Under Armour vest as well. Um, if it's cold, I really like a vest. That keeps you so much warmer. Um, and you can wear them at night as well. Uh, another bra, a wear one, wash one, dry one, whatever. Another pair of three quarter length trousers, uh, leggings. These are Innovate ones. I really like them. They don't chafe. That's great. Then loads of socks. I'm going to say these. These are amazing. Seal's going to send me a load of socks. So these are bright orange. They look pink here, but they're actually orange. And I'm going to save them for day four, probably, because that's when I'm going to be finding it, starting to find it really hard. Got some other socks from Dex Shell as well, but mainly from Seal Skins here. Then extremities, windstopper gloves in case it's really, really cold one day. Um, my fave sunglasses, Oakley's there. I might treat myself to a cooler pair if I can complete the Cape Wrath Ultra because I do look a bit like a giant bug in them. Then I've got a selection of tops. I've got uh, two t-shirts here and then two long sleeves here. So there's a, um, one from the arm. I just like the contour lines and stuff there. That's quite nice. I really like this one from Innovate as well because it's slightly windproof as a top. They're both long sleeved and they've got collars in case my backpack starts to rub my neck. Then a couple of t-shirts, the North Face one that I've mentioned and the Salomon one which has a zip so I like that ventilation as well. Then moving on to the moving on to the poles. So I'm taking two pairs, which is slightly controversial because um, this is the Trailblaze from Mountain King. They're really really light and um, I'm going to be using them predominantly. This is my pack that weighs about three kilograms. Um, I've done a separate video about the pack, so check that out. Then I've got this uh, Thermarest. Um, it's the Pro Light, so it's a uh, full length ladies fit. And then I've got a sleeping bag from Mountain Equipment. This is something that I definitely want to keep dry, so I've fully gone to town with rolling over the dry bag and everything there. Then I am going to take a pillow. I've got my pillow squished into here and a sleeping bag liner because so I think I'm going to be really muddy um, after every day and I don't want to get my sleeping bag dirty. I've even got a towel as well. I'm just I'm going a bit uh, heavyweight this time, but I've got a towel, um, not just a sarong, and um, that will be good for drying me off after bathing in the river. I've got this phone from a friend, uh, which is a really, really lightweight. It's only 75 grams and it will hold its charge for about a week so that's really useful if my other equipment starts to die but it shouldn't because I have got these these are so exciting I love these so goal zero have sent me the venture 70 which is a recharging pack and the nomad 14 which is super exciting it is I don't know how much sun we're gonna get on the Cape Wrath Ultra but this is a solar panel I can just get that open one-handed there you go so there we go I'm gonna be charging that on the Cape Wrath Ultra if there's any sun lovely solar panel there with all the cable all the relevant cables and the other thing I've got that I really really like for charging stuff on the move you can actually plug these little flip tens into your phone on the move so I've just got a couple of them there I haven't I like you think why wouldn't I go for like a one uh, slightly smaller less heavy one which um, um, combines all three but I just like to take one at a time with me that'll do me for one day probably on the hill to recharge one thing twice one thing once so then moving on to um, my filming stuff so I've got just a that all goes in this bag I'll probably waterproof that as well with a dry bag I've just got spare SD cards cables charging stuff in there but my main camera equipment is going to be my GoPro on this extender pod just a basic extender pod and I can also attach my phone to that as well for phone videos then I've got a little tripod in case I see anyone anything nice and you know if I've got time I could do a run past then I've got this uh, GoPro three-way, uh, that bit at the end unscrews to make a tripod so you can stand that up and interview people at camp. Uh, for interviewing people I've also got a couple of microphones, just Lavalier microphones, they just plug in, loads of wires. Then I've got two watches, I'm going to be testing the Garmin Fenex 5S and the Sunto Spartan on the trail with me. So I've just loaded all the maps 
and uh, it took a bit of time, it was quite tricky, I'm not going to lie, but um, I'm going to be testing them both on the Cape Breath Ultra, and the Sunto one's also got this heart rate monitor. Um, so yes, I've been weighing them all on my kitchen scales using this handy bowl, and these are all the weights here, so it's been really interesting. Steve guessed 13 kilograms, I guessed 15, wrongly, and it turned out to be 13.5, so with the bag as well, that's going to be 14.5 kilograms. And the bag is here, it's an aqua pack, oh, it's about 80 litre bag. So now I'm going to do a time lapse of how all of this stuff is going to fit into this bag.